Rambo the video game. Is it worth a buy? Let's read. Rambo the video game is a real shooter that puts the player in John Rambo's combat boots and takes them on an action packed journey through the iconic combat sequences and story arcs of First Blood, Rambo First Blood Part 2 and Rambo 3. <laughs> Um, guys, I have had to re-record the Worth a Buy review. Um, I've just listened to the first one that I did, which was quite spontaneous and it's unfit for broadcast. Um, I'd get into serious trouble if I broadcast it. However, there probably are bits that I can put into this review. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to review the game now that I've calmed down in a professional manner. Then at various parts I will cut into the audio that I did uh, from the first review. I'll put a title up to say audio of the first review. It's just to give you an idea of how I in initially felt after playing this game for the first time. Just to give you a little bit of passion into what could be a very boring review. So I hope you understand uh, what's going to happen here. And I hope it doesn't spoil your viewing entertainment. So Rambo, um, this is the... Uh, story of John Rambo's life and it starts off in First Blood goes through to Rambo and then Rambo 3 and um, essentially it's all on rails that means you don't actually control the movement of the character it's driven around for you on rails um, you can't walk anywhere it's just all does it for you all that happens is you are presented with um, different enemies and it's just like one enemy uh, after another essentially and then more people 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 and then more fucking people uh, so so basically you are presented with these different scenarios and um you have to just shoot everybody and then if if you're taking shooting if you're taking hits you just press wasd or whatever and duck behind the barricades that is there for you it's a very simplistic game based off uh, an old arcade game called Operation Wolf, um, which was quite good. The only problem with this is we're in 2014, and this is a little bit outdated now by about 30 years. There was a, a classic arcade game called Operation Wolf that had a machine gun as a controller, and it did this. It just took you into different situations where you shot different guys. That's what this is. In 2014, guys. That's what it is. We are, I'm telling you, there is some shit going down, Holmes. There is, there is more games now being released that was, they're going back over, they've run out of so many fucking ideas. They're so fucking clueless, these people. The guys. Tevron, fuck off. Honestly, fuck off. There's not a great deal else happens. There's not a lot to do in it. Um, this is essentially all the game is. You just shooting stuff. It has local co-op, uh, which doesn't do anything to save the game. The game is dreadful. Uh, in every possible sense of the word, this game is absolutely terrible. And the worst thing about it is it costs £30. That's right, £30. And how much you charging? How much you charging? Thirty pound for a game on fucking rails? Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Thirty pound? I can get a blow job for thirty pound. I mean, I was actually shocked when I, when I found out this game was thirty pounds. I mean, I, I was actually in shock. I couldn't believe it. Thirty pounds, guys. Thirty pounds, guys. Shoot more people. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. 30 pounds. Thief! Thief comes out in two days' time. A whole interactive game for 22 99 This is 30 f***ing quid! 30 pound to play a game on f***ing rails. I, I don't understand why Tevron, who made this game, have just taken the easy, lazy way out. This is a very lazy, lazy game. Um, it's a cash grab. That's all it is, in my opinion. Um, it's... It's absolutely woeful. I highly recommend that you don't buy this. Um, it's it's just bad in every sense of the word. It's not even worth reviewing. It's so bad. It's just a game out of time. It's 30 years out of time. It's it's just absolutely disgraceful that this has been released now for full price. It's absolutely disgraceful. I'm not even going to tell you about the game. F*** off. F*** off. All you need to know that it's a big steaming pile of ocelot shit. 
That's all you need to fucking know about it, guys. That's it. It's not even. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna sing a song. I'm gonna sing a song. Hi-ya, hi-ya. And um, I'm going to say that it's one of the worst games I've ever ever played. Absolutely horrible, and definitely, definitely not worth a buy. <laughs> Is it worth a buy? 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 Well, yes, it is. It's well worth a buy. It's well worth a buy if you are a university lecturer dealing in software programming. Because you could use this game as an example of lazy, f***ing, clueless f- who call themselves programmers. That's what you could do with this. Uh, So, if you are a university lecturer, I highly recommend this game. There is not a finer example of lazy-ass f***ing money-grabbing in the PC gaming industry. I've got a bottle of Albus oil here, right? And it says, only put two drops on a f***ing tissue. No more. I feel like drinking the whole f***ing bottle. You know that? Drinking it. I'd rather drink this bottle than play this game anymore. It's awful. (laughs) 